Hi, I'm Brian Shaw, Certified Diabetes Educator with Sacramento Native American Health Center. Welcome to another exciting episode of Take 5, Ask 5, where we take five minutes to ask five experts the top five things to know about what they know. We're here today in the lovely courtyard of the First United Methodist Church across the street from Snack, where we do our monthly body movement for wellness exercise classes. And today we're here with Amy Nielsen. She's a certified personal trainer, and she's been doing our body movement for wellness exercise classes since 2016. Welcome, Amy. Thank you. We're glad to have you here. Amy, tell us a couple of things about yourself before we talk about the top five things. Well, I've been in the fitness industry for a little over 20 years. I'm a personal trainer. I also teach group fitness, yoga classes, and I own Center 7 Studio. Excellent. And Amy's been a great asset for Sacramento Native American Health Center for our exercise classes. The patients love them. Great. So before we talk about the top five things to know about exercise, let's check out some exercise that patients and community members are doing that they love to do. All right, we just saw some patients and community members doing the exercises that they love while Amy was instructing them. Amy, let's talk about the number one thing to begin with that we need to know about exercise. What's the number one thing? Well, I would say that your health is multidimensional. So your physical activity and exercise can affect other dimensions of your health, such as your mental health, your intellectual health, your emotional health, social health, spiritual health, even your occupational and financial health. Yeah, multidimensional. It affects all parts of your health. One thing affects another thing. So we want to make sure they're all working together well. Yes. Good. Okay. All right. What's number two? Number two, I would say, is to move in ways that build heat in the body. So cardiorespiratory activity, muscular strength and endurance, any sort of activity that gets the heart going, gets the breath going, and builds heat in the body. Right, increase the heat inside of your body. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's number three? Number three, I would say, is to promote ease and relaxation in the body. So any sort of activity that takes the joint or ranges of motion without pain, any sort of breathing and moving practices or stretching practices, promoting ease and relaxation in the body. Yeah, making sure you're moving your body in a way that doesn't cause pain, that you've got a range of motion for your bones and your muscles and your joints. That feels good. That feels good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, what's number four? Number four is to build skills, challenging skills, patiently. So agility, balance, coordination, finding power in the body, reaction time, or speed are all skills that take time and patience. Be, be kind with yourself, be patient with yourself when you're trying to challenge yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. And number five, the last thing to know about physical activity. Number five is physical activity is one step you can take in becoming the authority of your own health, which will help you to continue to enjoy activities in your daily life that are most meaningful to you. Great. So it sounds like getting physical activity will help us do the things in our day that we really enjoy. Absolutely. Without pain, without needing to, without hurting ourselves. Absolutely. Okay. Perfect. These are top five things to know about exercise. Let's review from the top. Number one, health is multidimensional, meaning one aspect of your health, physical, mental, could affect another and does affect another aspect of your health. Perfect. Number two, building heat in the body, making sure that we raise our core temperature, heart, lungs, all of those things, muscles. Okay. Number three, um, do exercises that promote and ease relaxation so that you don't have pain when you move your body. Correct. Okay, number four is challenge yourself with a new skill. Yeah. And be patient. And be patient with yourself, yep. And number five, get more out of your life for the things that you do on a daily basis. Um, and physical activity is a way to help achieve that. Absolutely. Perfect. So this has been the top five things to know about exercise with Amy Nielsen, personal trainer. I want to thank Amy for being here with us today. Thank, thank you. you Brian. So great to have you. <laughs> Stay tuned for our next episode of Take Five, Ask Five, and we'll see you again. Bye-bye.